Anyway, we're, we're here for the next fucking half hour doing this. But by the way, I will probably give that out because that's actually a cool idea. Pre ED. Awesome. Let's let's start. Okay. Firstly. <laughs> that's that looks like Taventer. Like that's the first thing I thought. Like that's Rift Magic. This is looks like Taventer or Ravania. Not Ravania, somebody else. Okay. Not gonna go like that. That's why I see what I can catch. Okay. Right, let's have a wee look here first. Well, obviously, we've got some old Inquisition friends here. We've got, you know, ba Varric, who's looking pretty old. He's got Bianca. And Scout Harding, who I am fucking happy to be back. And please let me fuck Scout Harding. I mean, Romance Scout Harding. She's fucking adorable. Um, But yeah, this definitely is giving me a little bit of Taventer vibes. We're playing some music, by the way. Like, this is giving me some Tervinter vibes, especially with the design of the armors and the weapons. Devilish screaming Tervinter, but also dwarvish and kind of... So this maybe is a dwarven bar? Okay, let's get a little bit further in. Okay. Varric is looking a bit disheveled, but I'm liking the new look of Bianca. It's similar enough, but different. I'm digging that. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, Scout Harding. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the throwback to Dragon Age 2 with that stuff, by the way. So it looks like Scout Harding is going to become a party member. So I'm thinking what we're seeing is party members right now. So I don't know if Varric is going to be one. I don't remember. I'll have to see. But that to me is our party member. So Harding is a party member. Thank fuck. About fucking time they listened. She's the Scout. Now this, we got a mage here. Because yeah, the end is you like. So this is a new party member by the looks of it, Neva, the detective. So, oh, I like her design. Like the art, the art style. I'm not too too fond of. I'll be perfectly honest. But I'm looking at the stuff here. That looks like a ma an amulet of some kind. A new class, maybe, yes. I think these may also be classes, or subclasses. Because the detective, to me, that's a mage. She's, she's definitely a mage of some kind. Because she cast magic. And in the Dragon Age world, you need to be able to be a mage to cast magic and access that material. The design of her outfit, though, is kind of hard to place. Especially with the new design. Also, she's missing a leg. Wait, wait let's go back a little bit. She's got She's, she's missing a leg. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a teeny bit. Let's go back a teeny bit. Yeah, she's missing a leg. Okay, I can't really tell too much. I'd have to look at my books. But I feel as though this may... I don't know why I'm getting Kirkwall vibes from this, but it may also be to Venter. I said, I'm going to move my camera so you can actually see some of the stuff a wee bit. Give me one second, everyone. We're analysing the show of this. Give me a minute. I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube as well, because fuck it, I'm doing it. Like, that, really, that looks like an insignia or something to me. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, she's definitely missing a leg. So she's, in that, she's missing a leg. A snake vibe. What fucking... What part... What, what world of dragon was just obsessed with snakes? Yeah, her design is interesting though. Like, it's kind of with the with the design of her outfit. This is screaming Tervinter to me. And with the with that, like her name's Neva, which badass, awesome detective. What the fuck do you mean by detective? Is that a subclass? What we said earlier, or is this? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Or this could be her characterization. Maybe this is who she is. Because I'm getting kind of noir detective vibes from this. So. Oh, okay. Let's see, see the next person. Okay, yeah, this area, I can tell you right now, this is a marketplace. Back. Come on, give me a good, give me a good pause. Give me a good pause. Oh, damn, couldn't get a good pause there. Yeah, the the outfit these people are wearing is definitely giving me to venture. Yeah, no, the Taventer are all about those spikes. 
can't really get a good look at this guy. Uh, this guy, though, hot. So this is Lucius, the mage killer. Oh, what's your story? What is your story, you handsome hunk of meat? Okay, firstly, I love his look. I love the blue leather. I love the swords and daggers. So I, I am, I'm kind of guessing from the way he's acting here, I think he's a rogue. I think he's going to be one of the stealth classes, but the mage killer. So this guy's a mage hunter in a sense. So mage killer. So he looks after mage. He may be an assassin. But I'm not getting to... I'm kind of getting... What was, the, what was the blame Isabella was from? Rivia? Ravenia? No, that's that's Geralt. Um, fuck, what was that place called? What was that place called? Crap, I need to Google that. Dragon Age... Re Rev Revian. Revian, that's it. Revian. Unlike most people there, the Revians are not Andrastian. They are makers rather than Pathetic. Yeah, that's them. The Ravanian. Revian. This guy screams Revian to me. The hairstyle alone kind of gives it away just with the way Isabella described it. And also, just with the look of him, I definitely get that kind of vibe. Also, this is... Oh. I'm trying to look at the background here for, like, the, the architecture. Because I've, I've got the Dragon Age books over there and I've looked at this shit. Because I'm a sad, pathetic loser. I'm, this, okay, I think pretty much... I don't know if they've said it, but I, I'm... Willing to place a bet that we're interventor for the most majority of this story. Just looking at the architecture and also some of the design of the outfits as well, and the fact that this guy's called the Mage Killer, that is definitely giving that vibe. So I don't know, but he's definitely got like a pirate look to him. So I'm thinking he might be from Ravenia, but that could be making the assumption. And also, what the fuck are those vials? My sir, what are those purple vials? Is that point? Okay, let's go. <laughs> So I'm, I'm getting I'm getting distracted here. Okay, that is definitely Elven Ruins. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Whoa, one moment. One moment. I just noticed something. Okay, look at her insignia here. Look at her insignia here. The, 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 the diamond in the center. Nope, sorry. His is different. He's got a different insignia, but it's a different... It's a similar insignia, so I don't know if that maybe is the same organization then. Because that's a, the, that's it's weird to have an insignia on the back. Sorry, I'm getting I'm I'm noticing too. What the fuck was that? One sec. Who the hell are you? Okay, look, everyone here looks kind of generic, to be honest, kind of thrown together. This person here interests me. Maybe because they're redhead. Sorry, that's <laughs> um. But yeah, that's definitely. Okay, that is Elven Ruins, if I've ever fucking seen it. And that is an Olivian. No, that's not an Olivian, that's just an archway. Okay, so I'm, I'm kind of trying to piece together stuff here. Nope, that, that, is, that is a Veil Tear. That is a Veil Tear, so we got people exploring the Veil more regularly, and that's tentacles, so lovely. The Veil Jumper, Bel Bel Air? Bel Air? Is that it? B E L L. A R Bellera? Okay, elf, obviously, with the ears. The thing is that she's not using magic, but veil jumper? So this is someone who can jump between the veil, but if there's a term for this called veil jumper in this world now, then that means this is going to be pretty far after Inquisition, where the veil's already been sundered. Oh. Oh, fucking Bioware. Don't do what I think you're going to be doing. Oh. Because if this is a regular thing where you have people called Veil Jumpers, it's been a while since Inquisition, especially with the fact that Varric looks old. How old was Varric in the last game? How old uh, Dragon Age? Dragon Age, Varric's age. Okay, Varric was 30 years old in Inquisition. So, no, he's in, he's in his 40s. In Inquisition. So this is easily, easily 10 or maybe 15 years after. So the veil jumping thing's been a while then. Okay, cool. This lady's kind of interesting though. She's got the smirk, so she does this quite regularly. Definitely looks like artifacts. I was thinking that too. Bail end. I was reading that. I was like, Bail end? Bail air? 
not too good in the design part. But yeah, no, that that is interesting. Okay, go, wait, let's go next. Into the fade, aren't we? Okay, one sec. How can I go? Can I go back a little bit? Okay, she's okay, she's got an artifact in her hand. Right there. That is probably something that allows something? Something that allows her to jump between veils. Or that's an artifact from the veils. Oh, I'm trying to get a clearer picture, but I don't think it also that face. <laughs> She's got an artifact right there. Oh, what the fuck could that be? Oh, it looks elvish. Without getting a closer look, I'm getting kind of an ancient elvish vibe. Okay, keep going. Also, who the hell are you guys? I wish I could slow... Can I slow this down? Can I slow this down? Oh, playback speed, yes. Uh, let's go, let's go by five, by half. Oh, almost. Let's try that again. Okay, come on, give me a little look at it. Give me a bit of look at it. There. Oh, that is definitely ancient elven. Okay, so I'm trying to get a better look at it, but I'd have to zoom in. I can't zoom in here. Oh, it looks like the Triforce, I'll be perfectly honest. But that is definitely going to be some... I think that may be some kind of portal key or something. That definitely screams ancient elf to me. And uh, she's not dead, obviously, but what the fuck is this? Okay, pause. Okay, gentlemen, who the fuck are you? Okay, that definitely screams underground. This is these are wardens. Yep, these are wardens. Just by the looks of the attire and the place and all that, these are definitely wardens. And who? Who? Okay, this is the guy whose art, the art style is kind of freaking me out a little bit. His face and his tash just looks like he's bargain Ben Dorian. <laughs> but he's a necromancer, obviously. So look. What's the place called? What's the place? The Necropolis place. Oh, God. It's. What the fuck is that called again? Um. Just seconds. Uh, Dragon Age Necropolis. The Grand Necropolis is Navara. Navara. This guy's Navarin. I can tell you that right now. Why? Navara is huge on necromancy, if I remember correctly, and they entomb their dead. They don't burn them, and they actually have people who do this shit. Also, he's looking dapper as fuck, but he does still look like Vargan Bendorian. But yeah, he's definitely got undead power, so we may have a we may have a summoner. His name is Emmerich. He looks like a dick I want to punch in the face or fuck. I'm not too sure. <laughs> not much to say on him, but the fact I'm 99% sure he's Navarin. Also, look at the skeletons. These aren't skeletons he's just summoning. These are skeletons that have actually been properly entombed and he's created. Like, we've never had a pure Necromancer or a pure Summoner's build in Dragon Age before. This could be interesting. And who are you, my fine gentlemen? These are Darkspawn. Yeah. This is the Warden. Okay, they've changed the Darkspawn appearance again. What happened to keeping them the way they were? But, yeah. They've changed the look of the Darkspawn. That's a Shrieker gone by the arms. That's a herlock, and these are genlocks by the looks of it. And that is a fucking hideous abomination. The fuck is that? And we've got griffins. I will die for this griffin. I will... I will die for that griffin. That griffin must live. It will not die. I will die for it. Because it looks adorable as fuck, but look at that! The griffins are back! Oh, that is awesome. Okay, this guy's called Davrin? The Warden. Okay. The new Warden armor, I'm kind of digging. Why does it look like he's wearing a band t-shirt? Look at that, it's like he's wearing a band t-shirt. But definitely warrior vibes. Smug asshole. I think he's going to be the smug one of the group. But the fact that we've got Griffin's back, that is amazing. 
Go, little griffin. You know there will be dragons. Oh, look. Varric's still wearing the Inquisition belt. That is awesome. That's a nice little attention to detail. Right. Okay, right. We got dragons. It looks like they're keeping the similar design they did in the previous game, so it doesn't look like it's changed too much. That's good. But it's definitely a coastal area. Hello, sexy! Okay, we've got Tasha, the dra- Well, one second. I noticed that. I didn't know it. Wait a second. She's missing a horn, and that's made out of... I want to say emerald, but that could be Veilstone. But yeah, she's full-on, like, barbarian warrior or some shit like that. Scores. Yeah, New Fable has me interested, but we're working on Dragon Age. Um, but yeah, I can tell you right now, uh, if she's romanceable, or they're romanceable, we don't know. Um, she can peg me. Sorry, they can peg me. They can peg me. The, the, they get a free pegging. Five. But the armor, like, she's definitely not Kunari. I think she's definitely Talvashoff. Just by the looks of her, especially the fact that she's shown a bit more emotion, and also the design of her outfit being a dragon hunter. Also, so I just remembered, the Canari don't hunt dragons, because they kind of worship them as gods. But yeah, she's definitely interesting. I'm kind of cool. Like, I like her design. She does look pretty cool. But again, I've always liked the Cossip design. Oh, she's a dual-wielding barbarian for sure. Look at that. That's dragon scale armor. She's got an axe and a mace by the looks of it. Oh, that, that is a sick looking armor. Okay, we just got a good look at something. That is definitely on the coast. That's a pirate ship. Yeah, we are going to Ravania. I, I can tell you that that looks like Ravania. So I don't know if this is just a shore off, but that's definitely a Ravanian style uh, statue from the books I remember anyway. And just by the looks of the coast, and also this dragon, in fact, her, this could be... Oh, this may also be on the coast to where the cost have actually ba are based. Okay. Also, action shot. I want this as a wallpaper. Okay, we'll go full speed now. I think I've had an, I think I've had a, I think I've had enough... Uh... Right now, we'll go keep going. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go uh, full speed now. Normal. So. Okay, that looks like Red Lydium. Yeah, this random person we met in a bar. I won't met, that's creative. Okay, yeah, no, this is... Oh, whoa, whoa, yep, she's a rogue. Okay, we gotta go slow speed again. Sorry, everybody. I'll go slow speed one more time. 75. Because I might get a good shot on this. Okay. Okay, definitely dark spawn. The fuck is that? Look. This man's got wings. There's our warden. There's our rogues. This man's got wig, and I believe that's Lucian. That's that might be Lucian. No, there's Lucian there. Who the hell is that? Also, that boy is incredibly clunky. But hold on, no, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! One moment. That bow is also the same. Don't you fucking tell me the bow was that thing in her hand? Because that's the that is a similar architecture. It's got the same little triangles down there. I don't know if you can see, but it's got the little same triangles, little pot down there. Is her bow ancient elven art technology? Because that doesn't scream dwarvish to me. That screams ancient elf. And it's very similar to the thing she was holding at the start. Also, I'm still like, who the fuck is that? I want to know who you are. Um, also you, we've not seen you. What the hell were you holding?
Okay, what the hell are you holding? Is that your staff? That she's a full on snake breed. That that is what the fuck's that hat? Why do you look at Drake going to a wedding? Defy the gods. Oh, we're gonna try. Okay, that's just very generic gameplay. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a big ass dragon. That is a big ass. Okay, one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. That's the sun being eclipsed. Or is that a portal? And these ru these ruins here. I've never seen these ones before. This is definitely inside the veil. Inside the fade. This is 100% in the fade. It's different color. The fade was green before, but I don't know if that was just a veil over it, but the red is definitely giving me like vibes of maybe a portal. And this design... I've never seen a design like this in Dragon Age before. This might be ancient elven include. This could be an elven artifact area. This could be in the deep roads as well, but... That does not scream deep roads. And this... Could this be an archdemon? I mean, I don't think it could be an archdemon because we've, we've, there's only... As of Dragon Age Inquisition, I believe there's only like one or two old gods left to be awakened. So could this be an archdemon, maybe? Could this be ancient elf or ancient dwarf? But this thing in the background is kind of throwing me a little bit. Like... This in the background is completely throwing me through, through a loop right now because I do not know what the fuck this is. Because it, it could be the veil, it could be inside the veil. No, the veil will be gone by now. It could be in the fade, it could be the underdark. It's not the underdark, the uh, deep roads. It could be maybe the deep roads and this is a fade portal? It's could. It's hard to tell, really. I think this is an archdemon by the looks of it, because there's little bits of decay there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's teeny bits of decay right there. But I don't know. Let's even get a better look. Yeah, no, Dragon Age... Like, yeah, no, okay, okay, okay. Right, we are going to be in a...